Hey, I'm Nate. And I'm Nate's dad. Today we're going to show you all how to uh, empty a water bed easily. Um, a lot of times you're wanting to move or something and and you're going to do the project then you realize that you don't have a pump to, to pump your water bed. So we're going to show you a quick easy uh, step that uh, relies on a siphoning method to rid your, your uh, old water bed of the water. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So uh, we have the connector from when we originally um, filled up the bed there. So we connected it back on. We ran the hose out the window. We're on the second story uh, floor so it makes the siphon work real well. One key thing with the siphon is that you have the output lower than the 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 actual bed so that the water once the siphon begins will drain easily. So even if you're on the first floor uh, you should have enough distance there to have a good siphon. Um, so what we're going to do is we, we hook this hose up here. It's going out the window. It's going to the uh, faucet outside. Um, you can't see it right now, it's dark. But um, it goes down there and um, what what we're going to do is we hook it to the faucet, we're going to run the water, fill the entire hose, get rid of any air bubbles in there, run it for a, about a minute or so, and then um, we're going to just, as the water's running, we'll disconnect it from the faucet. Um, at that time, the, it'll start going flowing backwards. And uh, one thing we want to do is to put some weight on down here on this to keep, make sure that the uh, the nipple on this is um, is pushed down low to the lowest point in the mattress so that we don't get any air. If we get any air gapping in there, it'll stop the siphon. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn the water on and run it. All right. So uh, we just took the bedding off, all of the mat or the sheets and stuff. Uh, because you're going to want to, when the bed is almost drained, you're going to want to lift from one side to make sure you get all the water out because water is about 8 pounds per gallon, so every gallon counts. So that's what we have so far. And okay, right now we're, uh, we're going to be turning on the water faucet, make sure that it's tight here. Turn on the water faucet, let the air work its way out back into the bed. So go ahead and... Uh, Make sure all this air is here. All right, there's putting water in here now. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's getting all the air bubbles out. You want to make sure to get all that air out because it makes for a better siphon if you get all that air out. All right, about a minute has gone by and it's just about finished bubbling. So uh, now you're gonna. Shut off the water. Alright, turn off the water! So, once he turns off the water, and you'll just push down right here. Alright, the water shut off. So now, make sure to push down here. And push. And hopefully this is working. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. Yep, it's working. As you can see, there's water there. It's sucking the water out. So then you just want to make sure it's pushed down in there. And make sure to put weight on there too, so it doesn't get more air. And you just let this go until it's totally empty. So uh, I'll show you the finished results, or close to it, and probably about... 20-ish minutes. All right, what we've done here is just put a stack of books and some uh, reams of paper here to weigh, weigh it down, uh, just to, so we don't have to constantly push on it. But uh, it should empty pretty quickly. Um, we're going to go show you down on the, on the end of the hose how the uh, water is coming out. So um, we'll see how it goes. Hi again. Uh, we just stepped outside, and uh, you can see it's a really good stream uh, coming out here. Um, ours is a king size bed, so it'll take a little while to, to empty, but at this rate, it's about as good as a pump could be, be doing. Um, not sure how many but many gallons a minute this is doing, but it's coming out pretty good. Hi, uh, 
the siphon's been going about eight minutes now. Um, everything is going pretty well. I'm just kind of leaning on here to keep that uh, that nipple in the water pretty well. Um, so uh, a mattress is size king size uh, mattress holds about 250 gallons of water. Um, so it'll take a little while to get out, but uh, it's not 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 too hard work, and it it's moving pretty good. So uh, I imagine this will take us maybe 15-20 minutes to empty, and uh, we should be good. All right, it's get, been going about 10 minutes now. Um, you've noticed it's starting to starting to go down a little bit. Um, it's not as fast as we'd like. Nate's getting a little impatient. Can't wait any longer. Oh my gosh. No, Nate. Come on. Have some patience. Control yourself. We're going to be able to empty this tonight and um, get this job done. All right. Um, it's been going about uh, 25 minutes now and it's taking a little longer than we had estimated. Everything is running well, but um, um, now we're it's it's getting down to the point. I have I have it uh, pushed all the way down to the um, to the base there. It's actually hitting the wood. I can feel the valve hitting the wood there. Um, so what we're going to do is just work it, work the water down, so we don't get any air gaps. So Nathaniel's going to uh, jump in bed there and uh, just kind of work it, work it down. Just kind of hold it there for a little bit. You don't want to work too hard on it. Just kind of, just kind of hold it and, and work the water down, so so as to not have to lose our siphon, and then we'd have to kind of. Um, restart the siphon again so we'll just uh, just continue to do this all right so it's been about 40 minutes now and uh, as you can see we don't have too much more probably another 15 more minutes everything's 15 minutes we thought this job was going to be 15 minutes but like any other home Probably. job that you're doing you always underestimate it's usually twice as much as whatever you say yeah so it's moving along well, but uh, it's taking a little longer than we thought. Definitely a little bit longer than we thought. But hey, not every day you get to empty a water bed. Well, we're 55 minutes into this project, and we're still not done yet. But we're almost. getting there. We're getting there. We're on the home stretch. The home stretch. We could almost lift this thing up and move it out, but we're not, we're going to be a little smart and just let it drain and not be yeah. impatient. We are getting kind of impatient, though, aren't we, Nate? Yeah. Almost done. Well, it was exactly an hour. Um, pretty much done. I guess we just have to open this. It was up. just starting to suck some air there, and um, we realized that it's done. It's done. So this is what used to be a bed. So um, now it's easily to to uh, easy to take out, and uh, we didn't get any water in the. Oops. <laughs> you were supposed to turn that. Um. Did that wreck the uh, thread? Let's hope not. Okay, so what we can do is if uh, we're we're planning on selling this uh, water bed because. Uh, We've had our use of, out of it pretty much, but we're going to let the next owners ha have this mattress. Um, this is a weight uh, free flow mattress, so there's no baffles or anything in there, no fibers or anything. So it should uh, be able to u be used uh, pretty well. If you have one that has the fibers in it, emptying it out is not too good of an idea. It ends up uh, making all the fibers move and clumps kind of and it never when you refill it will never work too well so um, but this this is a, a cheap mattress I think it was like $55 55 or $60 when we bought it it's lasted uh, quite a long time and with little or no maintenance uh, we we put some of the conditioner in there for a while but <clears throat> actually in the last couple of years we probably didn't even put that in but it seems to have held up pretty well so um, that pretty much uh, concludes our uh, mattress draining and um, took us about an hour to empty a 250 gallon uh, bed so so I'm Nate's dad and that's Nate hey. thanks for watching our video check out my channel and make sure you rate subscribe and comment if you have any questions thanks